Hello, this is another video of more additions to this museum's Not Obsolete. It's an ongoing project, as you know, it's never gonna be finished, so it's just keeping on adding things. For instance, uh, this week, got a detune knob for the 1000 Oscillator Mega Drone. Here's a video right now of it. It is this one right here, this little dirty one. What does it do, you ask? Well, this right here is the killer drone. It's the 1000 Oscillator Mega Drone. And here are 10 buttons that control each column. Doop, 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 of 100 oscillators each. So if I push this one, you're hearing 100 oscillators coming from here. If I push this one, here and a hundred oscillators coming from here. But when we take this down to zero, you notice all of the lights go down. That's because the oscillator frequency that is behind that LED, well, it's gone down in frequency and it's just it's just flashing a little bit less, you know. Woo 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 woo. Well, that also corresponds to the crescendo coming from the buttons from the LEDs. Let's turn the release up. Push the button. together a really cool Decatron uh, display kit. The link is below to the information. Now I've put this together, I need to get Artem Kashkinov's uh, Decatrons uh, doing something. They're down there and I'll be wiring them up to something very soon. But you can select between all of the modes via this button at the front of the display, which is pretty funky. Along the top, we've got something extra that is just over here. It's a fun little knob right here and we twist it and we're gonna have a look at this machine right now. We'll give it a twist. Let's play the game of twist the knob and see how high we can go the numbers wise. Everybody loves that game. Still trying to figure out a halfway measure of how to display the sideband. There's one thing that I've done quite quickly, just to show you, is I've actually 3D printed a new tire for it. So that means it can be left on here and it won't actually uh, kind, of, uh, kind of warp and damage itself. So that's 3D printed, that's brand new, so it's made to keep on rolling, which is one of the perishables. Uh, I am looking at electroplate in these, but not for a while. They'll be all right for the foreseeable future. But right now, I think for this weekend, for instance, I'm just gonna put it back in its box and put it in the hallway so people could just play on it regardless. Because that's the thing, the museum is open this Saturday the 26th and there's a, also a Patreon meet and greet on the 27th with Heimbach and Cuckoo. So if you want to come to either of those, the information is below. The uh, Sunday one is open to any patron of any tier of the museums, look well, no computers, Heimbachs or Cuckoos. So sign up if you want to pop along and do that as well. Anyway, let's have a look at the hodgepodge video footage that I got of today's thing and that is this knob right here. That is the game of, let's see how how high the number goes up. Let's go. Hello, today we're gonna have a quick peek at what is in here. It's a bit of an interesting thing, it's from Matt North. Been doing some sorting and I found this very cool Nixie Tube based panel meter. I felt like you could make use of it. Anyhow, it's all in the box. They can have fun, Matt, Matthew North. So thank you very much, Matthew. Let's have a plug in and see if we can get this thing to do something. Uh, it's quite interesting, so I like the box. So yeah, it's, a, it's just a little, okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can get this to do something, shall we? So having a quick peek through this uh, manual, it looks like it just takes mains voltage, so it might actually be quite easy. The uh, It's just AC, it says it should be 250 volts. So I'd, I'm gonna have a look through and see if we can wire it in, because it'd be cool to just just you know get it going for this this weekend. Let's, uh, let's see, if, let's take this apart first. Uh, because it'll be nice if we're not in the box anyway. And go from there, shall we? Oh, these are long, long mummers. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh, 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 it's all coming to pieces. It's already coming to pieces. That's probably a good thing because I don't want the top in it, but ah, oh, it's all sandwiched in it already. So let's let's get rid of this anyway. That's the main thing we're gonna get rid of. Oh, let's, let's just take it off. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Bloody lovely. Look at that, bloody fantastic. I've been, I've had a quick peek at the transformer. I'm just gonna quickly see, because I quickly read in the manual about um, whether it's 110 volts or 240 volts. You can see that the uh, 110 volts, you wire it like that, 115, and the 240, you wire it like that, and luck, and it is luckily wired, uh, luckily, if it gets in focus, it's luckily wired for 240 volts. So lovely jobly. Let's uh, let's. Go. How the hell? How the hell did this even go together? Oh, oh, actually, that might be kind of cool. Like laying it. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, it sits like that. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bolt it to a. Uh... Yes. 
That's the one. It's gonna be bolted to a bit of wood. Okay, that's the plan. So I've gotta find somewhere to store all of this without losing any of it, because that'll be a right old shame, but it's all about what's on the inside with this one. So I'll find somewhere for this nice and organized for archival reasons. I've got, I'm getting better at that. And for this, we're gonna get a plank of wood. I think I have the perfect plank of wood in one. If I didn't get rid of it. Hey! Oh, it might be a bit too small. Oh, look at that. So this sits on the front like that. Oh my God, it's like, it's made for it. Oh yeah, this is gonna work perfectly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bash at screwing it down a little bit. <laughs> so there's one there and there's one, one here. This is gonna be out of prying hands. It'll be in a display, so. Nice final touches, just pop a couple of, couple of feet underneath it. Two foot, this is gonna be great. Three foot. Oh yeah, this is a right cool display. So after a quick read up on this and a look in here, I found that uh, there was a hold on this, as in uh, there was a hold voltage. Uh, apparently it's not supposed to actually be holding, but it was, so I found it. That's the hold wire. I just removed it from this circuit. It seems that uh, potentially there's something wrong there, which isn't a problem right now. It's, it's for a bit of fun. This is gonna be turned into the game, the fun game that everybody loves, which is twist the knob and make the numbers go up. Woo! <laughs> so we've got the power going into the back and over here we are going to a 100k potentiometer which is acting as a voltage divider. Um, it's going into the input, um, like we looked at the back, it said that the input is here, signal input high, signal input low, because it's a floating thing that's like, so the signal input low is connected to the ground, uh, one side of the potentiometer, and then the other side of the potentiometer is wired into this over here, which actually, uh, it fires out, uh, it's, it's about two volts. As you can see from these, you'll see it's millivolts DC, so two volts kind of gives it the whole thing. So these are the, uh, these go up to 999 millivolts, and then this is a uh, one that shines up one, and whatever's above one, that turns on. And then we just adjust it, we turn it down to zero, 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 two, and then you just pull it up a bit. There we go, 366. Ooh, 598. Ooh, the game of twist the knob and see the number go up. And then after you go past the one, it all gets a little bit all over the place, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you on the next one. And like I say, museum's open this weekend. Anyway, have a lovely time. Toodly-doo. Welcome to the museum.